Hello guys, it's Jeremy again. I'm back on the Minecraft server and I have another Minecraft Theology episode for you guys. I'm starting to find myself wanting to make these uh, episodes more about prep work for my Let's Plays, so we're going to get a little bit of that again. But, um, just so you guys have some insight of why we're doing this um, before we get into the actual topic. Is it really only that tall? That can't be right. Before we actually get into the topic, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on changing all of this. In fact, if you've been watching my own personal YouTube channel, you'll notice that this is different and you've seen why. I actually tore out all this stuff. I did some stuff in my base. Uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff where you don't necessarily see. I do a whole lot of different things, setting these up, whatnot, where I don't actually film it. And I figure I'm wasting content with that. So if you're interested, check it out. If not, that's fine. But today's topic, Minecraft Theology. Um, I am a person that loves to compliment others. In fact, the whole idea of appreciation is something that is a core value of mine. It's something that I hold on to dearly. And so, for me, appreciation is not just something that you do personally, it's something that I think is a biblical Christian process. And in this world of social media where we want to become angry and, and vile and react and trolling and simply doing stuff to be successful for ourselves, the idea of trying to be appreciative to others is something that is lost. It's a lost art. In fact, I feel like, I know that this isn't necessarily true, but I feel like if Christians could just be more appreciative, the world would be so much better place and I think the more people will come to know Jesus more um, if we were just to be able to be appreciative of others um, obviously it's more than just that but that's just kind of where my heart is right now that's how my heart sings for things oh am I gonna make it up there so just this whole idea of being appreciative towards others I wonder if there's a way for us as church technology people to do this well and to be able to appreciate those that are in our lives more profusely. And I, when I say that, I mean, I think that sometimes we give appreciation dinners, and that's wonderful. We celebrate volunteers and give them a pat on the back, which is always fun to enjoy. But it's in some ways, it's signaling for our own selves that, hey, we got to pick out this volunteer, and we did a good job. Other times in our marriages, I do a lot of marital counseling, we try to appreciate our spouse. And when we appreciate our spouse, we truly mean it. But it, it's different. It's lost its luster compared to when we were first dating and we, we showed an appreciation for that person because we truly cared about them. There was that those feelings there for them. And I wonder what this appreciation could look like for Christians in a digital age, in a, an age where all we did was simply appreciate other people for the sake of appreciation appreciating other people. Um, one of the things I'm trying to do, and I've been doing this more and more, um, starting in a small scale because I 100% subscribe to the idea of making small changes into life, not full-blown changes that sometimes are impossible to keep up. But I am currently doing a process where I just simply compliment people for no other sake than to build them up and, and celebrate them as a person. Um, I'm starting small in the sense that I'm only focusing on my church mag friends. Um, in fact, specifically the church mag writers. But slowly I've been branching out and, and highlighting people that I truly love to read their content online. And not only read their content online, but I think that they're just really, really good people. And I don't care if anything happens in that situation. I don't care if they recognize that I said something to them. I don't care. In fact, you, don't, you notice I'm not saying who it is. I don't care if they ever say, oh, he's so appreciative to me, we should do more business together, or that they want to collaborate, or that they even want to comment or favorite or refriend me. I simply want to do something appreciative because I want to be able to honor God in that way. And I wonder what you guys think about this. Is this something that's possible for Christians to be able to do? Is it possible for you to be able to be more appreciative to people in general? Whether it's your church tech team, whether it's the other church that is actually supposedly taking congregation members from you whether it's the senior pastor who just degraded your entire staff in a church meeting where he assumed that you were responsible for something that may have or have not been responsible for and so you felt his wrath 
Is it possible that we can celebrate the, the old lady that is continuously complaining about the sound just not being loud enough? Or the other people that keep looking in the back to see why you're not transitioning the slides any further? There's a whole lot of appreciation that can go around, and it doesn't matter if it's for your enemy or for, your, for the ones that you love. The Bible talks about both. Love your enemies, but you should also love yourself, and you should love your family, and you should love your children, and you should love your spouse. I don't know who it is that you need to love. I don't think that there's enough appreciation that happens in the world right now, and I would love to see Christianity, and specifically church technology, do this better. In fact, I think that church technology has the ability, through the, through the service that we do for the church, for the congregation, for the ministries that we serve, as well as for the vast church communication that we reach, both digitally and in print, that we could do some amazing things if we just simply appreciate those that are around us. And yes, the pastor has a huge audience, and, and they can serve well, and, and you can do a lot of great things in your community outside church technology. But how could we use this to serve our community and our kingdom and truly our savior better? So I know it's a lot, but this is what's on my mind. And I wonder what you guys' thoughts are. Am I blowing this way out of proportion? Jeremy, it's just appreciation, dude. Get over it. Or is there something more here that we should truly be trying to look at and understand? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave some comments below. What is your thoughts of appreciation? Are you doing it well? Do you know someone doing it well? Do you know someone doing it well digitally that, man, we should try to imitate how they're going about it? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So leave your comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.